Hey, it's Ruben here, the mentor, and today we just got this in the mail, the SM Pets by Sound Addicted. Basically, what they are is sound isolation pads designed to decouple or isolate your speakers from your desk, bookshelf, or even speaker stands. So the way you use it is you put them down on your desk, and your speakers goes on top of it. And what this does is it reduces vibrations coming from your speakers so you get a better sound reproduction and response from your studio monitors when you're doing things like mixing and mastering. So basically, they are an affordable way to isolate speakers from your desk or from your stand. Now, in very expensive studios, you see them hanging speakers in the air and this is exactly what it's designed to do but a more affordable way of doing just that. So, I previously actually reviewed the SM Pad 5, which are basically um, sound isolation pads. Great for speakers which are 5 inch, maybe 6 inch. But the SM Pads, something new by Sound Editor, actually fits speakers from 5 inch up to 12 inch. In fact, it actually supports speaker weights of up to about 75 pounds, and that's really heavy. 75 pounds is around 35 kgs, and even my speaker in the back, the Behringer Truth, is around 35 pounds. So, it supports up to 75 pounds without changing its shape and still maintaining its effectiveness, right? So imagine that a speaker, 75 pounds, is really heavy and this high density foam will actually retain its shape even with that kind of weight. So, let me, let me show you what's inside here. I'm going to open this up and show you what you get when you buy the SM Pads by Sound Addicted. So I've taken them out and you have, you know, four pieces that look something like this. One, two, right, three, and four in the bottom here. And you also have a small manual that shows you the different types of configurations that you can have with the speakers, whether you want it to be flat, you want it to be, you know, angled downwards or upwards. Yeah. Anyway, let me just talk about how this works in a nutshell, right? So you basically can put your speakers on top and you want to adjust the, adjust the width of it depending on the size of your speakers. So if, you're, if you have a small speaker, it probably be something like this, right, on top here. And you can actually adjust it to be, you know, more wider for a larger speaker. So basically it comes, what happens here is you can actually use, you know, a flat configuration just like this. Or you can actually remove this one here and now you have an angled speaker direction. So your speakers is actually pointed slightly downwards, right? Or you can change it this way. And basically, if you put your speakers here, your speakers will be pointed upwards, right? And you can even change the angles by, you know, putting a higher angle, bigger angle. And if you put it this way, and you know, the speaker goes this way, you're actually, you know, changing a more downward angle for your speakers. Now, for my case, I'll probably use this as it is like this, so I have a flat, you know, a flat angle for my speakers. So it depends on your setup, and let's put a speaker on this to show you how it should look like. So there you go, the speakers are sitting comfortably on top of the SM pads, and this is a heavy speaker, right? The Behringer Truth B3031A, a student monitor which weighs around 35 pounds. And you can see that the SM pads are still retaining its shape, even with this kind of weight, right? now. This speaker is designed to be seated vertically upright, but what if you have a speaker that is designed to be, you know, horizontally laid? So what you can do is you can actually change the width of these SM pads here. Let me just do this. And this is a heavy speaker, so there we go. And here. So if you have a horizontal speaker position, this is how it's going to look like. And again, you can see that it holds its width holds it, you know, shape really well, even with this weight. Now, I wouldn't put this speaker horizontal this way because this speaker is designed to be standing upright. And this is just for show only. So don't follow what I've done here. It's just for show only. Now, you might want to actually change the angle of the speakers as well. And you can do that with the SM pads. So for example, you can take this off, right? And... Ah! And right now, you can see the speakers are angled down. You can also angle it upwards and change the, you know, angle uh, amount. But basically what you want to make sure is that the tweeter level is on the same level as your ears. So for my case, I probably want to actually put it to flat because then the level of the tweeters 
are on the same level as my ears. There you go. So around the same level as my ears, and that will give me the best uh, position and the configurations to monitor from the student monitor, whether I'm mixing or even mastering. So there you go, that's the SM Pads by Sound Addicted. I think this is something that, you know, most home studio owners, or if you're putting your studio monitors on the desk, you should definitely get a pair of these for your speakers. And just by doing this alone, it would help give you a better sound reproduction, more accurate for your mixing and mastering needs. So what do you think about the SM Pads? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and your feedback. And till then, till next time.